everyone, my name is Sophie and welcome to my new video. I'm going to be reading Clockwork Princess for the very first time and I know that it's an emotional roller coaster. I thought it would be a nice idea to document my feelings and emotions while I'm reading. I just finished uh, filming a book haul so go check that out. I'm going to edit that as fast as I can to upload it and then later tonight my boyfriend is going to come over because he has to play a league. I know. And while he's playing weak, I'm not gonna be of any importance anyway, so that's when I'm gonna start reading Clockwork Princess. Just to see how this book is going to make me feel. I hope Jem gets everything he deserves because I love him so much. And I don't really care about Tessa. Really. I think her eyes are edited. I don't think her eyes... Yeah, they're, they're edited, I think. Also, what the fuck is this dress? Here's my final thoughts after reading the first 100 pages because I'm going to bed. I'm not going to bed, but I'm going to go into my room and it's dark and I'm going to watch Haikyuu and that's going to be my evening. Listen, um, I have marked some things. Yes, I dog here. Don't come for me. First of all, you know what? I'm going to start with this Benedict bitch turning into a worm. Really? Literally, Cecily and Tessa going along to that just because you're like oh i can fight i was like sis i don't understand what's so difficult for these people to just say no it makes it seem like it is not possible to have tessa not come along like she has to be there when there is no point in her coming whatsoever and fucking fight she's had training she can defend herself but against a gigantic 40 feet worm so she's a 15 apparently and I'm pretty sure that she's going to be in a relationship with Gabriel. At least that's what it looks like. That's the foreshadowing that's going on. I don't know how old he is. I thought he was like 19 or something. So it also takes up until this book for the infernal devices to finally drop. Like that phrase, the infernal devices. This series is named... The Infernal Devices, and now you're mentioning it. 50 pages into the third book. Jen speaking Chinese to Tessa. I was like, my baby. I love I love Jen so much. When anything happens to him, I'm immediately like, my heart is like clenching. Fucking Cecily and Will all of a sudden speaking Welsh to one another, and Will starting to drop like Welsh phrases. He didn't do this in the other two books, so I don't know where he's, this is coming from all of a sudden. Like him speak, I didn't expect him to speak Welsh because he didn't have anyone to speak it to, but he is now continuously using like Welsh words and curse words. So I, he didn't do that before. Also, something really random. That that's a dumb bitch move by Jem taking more of the drug. He knows it's killing him, but I also get it. Like he's so desperate and he's so he just wants to live a, a he just wants to live. Period. Sophie and Gideon, I think, fit really well together. I don't know if they're going to stay together. Honestly, I thought when their relationship was introduced that it was going to be like a farce and that they, he was like spying, but he's a nice guy apparently. Also, I don't really understand this why they only have like three servants in this whole institute. It's supposed to be this huge ass institute, right? This huge church, and they only have three people working for them. Thomas's brother, who's working there, is only there for protection and riding the carriage. And then we have a cook, and we have Sophie. I just feel like they should have more people working for them. I don't get why they only have so few people. So rude. Why? Why is he so mad? 
fucking insulting everyone. James Costas is a dying drug addict. Just chill out, bitch. <laughs> I'm on page 238, chapter 11. First of all, the fact that the second book, right, we didn't get any scenes with the fucking cat with Church, and now all of a sudden I've had three. I feel, I'm so confused. Why did you add the cat and then not give it any scenes in the second book? Because he did save it in the first book, and not the second book, so... But I'm glad the cat is back. It's my favorite character. Jem throwing the drug into the fire along with the letter from Mortimer. I was like, sis. Like, I knew he was going to do it. I could tell that it's just Jem, you know. I knew it. I know Jem so well. What really, like, just rubbed me the wrong way is Tessa. This bitch, like, they're fighting. First of all, I didn't know that Charlotte has a whip as a weapon. Uh, I'm sure it was mentioned before, maybe it wasn't, but I was reading the fighting scene in front of the institute when uh, Jessamine is returned, and all of a sudden she has a whip. It's like, I didn't know she fought with a whip. It's kind of badass, I, didn't, I was unaware. I was, I'm always so aggravated with these fighting scenes when Tessa is along. I don't understand why Tessa is there. Literally, I mean, they wanted to welcome... Jasmine back to the institute and then they were attacked. They didn't know they were going to be attacked. I don't understand why there's like there's like eight people fighting um, Excluding Tessa. I Don't understand why she doesn't just grab and also excluding Jasmine So I don't understand why Tessa doesn't just grab Jasmine and goes into the institute because there she's gonna be safe Why does this bitch stay outside? And why is no one bothering to bring Jasmine inside? Just go inside. What's the issue? Then, you know, Jasmine dying, I didn't feel I didn't feel sad about her dying. She was absent for so long. Like I have zero connection or emotions towards her. Tessa being taken is honestly just her getting what she asked for. Sissy didn't save her. Like I don't know what she thinks she's going to do against these big ass Machines, you know, so I hate I hate Tessa so much for being so Stupid this chick is so annoying. It's she's so annoying. She has no brain Fuck her Gabriel kind of falling for the console. I was like, what's up with the console? What's his fucking issue? I don't know the console convincing Gabriel to spy for him or something. I don't really know I didn't really read it because I really don't care for Gabriel or for the console, so whenever they have like scenes together, I just read the dialogue real quick and then I skip ahead because I really I don't give a shit. The console go like is like, can you work for me? And then Gabriel is like, what do you wish me to do? So at this point, I don't really know what the console wants Gabriel to do. Whatever it is, he's gonna do it. He's so annoying. I hate him so much. I don't know why he's there. I don't understand the whole pride thing. Like, your dad turned into a fucking womb. It, he's a womb. So, Magnus comes to visit Will. Because Will is like, hey, can you come over? And then Magnus is like, yeah, uh, I'll be there in a sec. I'm on my way. And then they're talking in front of Jem's bed. And <laughs> Magnus, is, Magnus goes, oh, but Jem doesn't know you're in love with Tessa, right? And the moment he said that, I was like... So Jem is awake and hearing this, right? Can you make it any more obvious like that Jem's gonna figure it out? I'm glad he's finally figuring it out. I'm gonna read it now, what he has to say about it. But the fact that these two guys have parabatai and cannot talk about their feelings for a girl. <sighs> had Jem really heard what Magnus had said to him? How, how else? Why else would he ask you? What did Magnus mean by asking you if I knew you were in love with Tessa? No, he didn't really hear you. He just pulled that out of his ass. Does she love you? And Will goes, no. I told her I loved her and she never wavered from you. It is you she loves. Are you fucking blind? Jem has just died? Listen, I'm reading this book and I know that Will is going to die, which I don't know how he dies. I don't believe that Jem is dead. 
Jem was dead. I will. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to believe it. I'm not going to believe it until I see his corpse. I will not believe it. I don't know what happens. Like if he is actually dead or not. That's the reason I'm not crying because I don't believe it. I don't believe that this bitch is dead. He's not just gonna die, is he? Is he dead? I don't believe it. 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 If Jem is dead, I will sue to send for Claire. I bet I I'm serious. Tessa losing her necklace and Will is looking for her. So he calls out for her and apparently she heard him. Why did Will finding this necklace not think, oh my god, maybe I should check the area? If he's so desperate to find her, why does he why does he not check the area? Why doesn't why isn't he like, oh my god, let's see maybe if she's here somewhere injured, he's just like yeah, she threw it out the window. She didn't escape. Like, whatever. I hate this. I hate this plot. I hate it so much. You know, another reason I think that Jem is still alive is because I'm literally 300 pages in at this point and I have another 300 pages to go. I don't think that he's going to be dead. I don't think he's going to be dead. I stand by that. I stand by it. I believe in it. And I... Will not equivocate on my opinion. So it's taking forever for anything to really happen because everyone's like, we get one page with Tessa, we get one page with Will, and then I get one page with Will and there's no dialogue. I hate when there's no dialogue. That's so boring. So what's happening right now? I think I actually don't know what happened last. Let me get the book. Tessa turned into Mortimer's dad and gave him the formula for something. I don't really know. Binding stuff has been throughout this book. I don't know if it was in the last book. I have to look at my notes, but it's been repeated that her mom was a shadow hunter and her dad was a demon. When it's been said three times before, and now Mortimer is like, yeah, your mom was a shadow hunter and your dad was a demon. It's not a fucking surprise anymore. What else should she fucking be? It's because her mother was changed. Like, she was stolen from the cradle and then she was changed and then she wasn't marked and she didn't know she was a shadow. I hate Tessa. I hate her so much. I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to shower cold in the hopes to look a little bit less gross and greasy. I do look really greasy. I'm so sorry. I still haven't cried over Jem because I still don't believe that he's dead. Show me his fucking corpse, then I'll believe it. The silent brother is Jem. I knew he wasn't dead. I haven't continued reading yet. I was just like, no fucking way. It's Jem. I love my baby. I'm glad he's not dead. I saw you die. Oh my god. I have like, I have like nothing to say. I was like, I didn't think he was gonna be a silent brother. I didn't know what I was thinking, I was just like, he's not dead. <laughs> what do you mean the change? What is the change? I don't want Jem to be this. I don't want him to be like... I don't want him to be cold and distant. I don't... I have like a hundred pages left. I am going to read them later when I'm alone, because my boyfriend is over right now, and I feel like I can't really fully concentrate on what I'm reading when there's someone else here around, if that makes any sense. The fact that Will and Tessa fucked after she just heard about Jem's death. This bitch really be getting it, you know? She's like, fuck it. Let's finally do it. So I'm by myself now. 
Of course, Tessa wasn't able to beat Mortimer just by herself, like striking him with a fucking dagger. She had to turn into that random ass angel inside of her of her pendant, of her clockwork angel. I'm so mad at fucking Jem. I'm so mad. That boy, he, I don't even know what changing into a silent brother means and entails, but I just wish that he could have just been Jem. You know, Jem, my Jem, I love him, I would marry him. Immediately, I would marry him immediately. Why aren't they trying to put runes on her to save her? Maybe I'm just having a big mind, a big brain moment right now, but if she's part shadow hunter and that overpowers everything, why wouldn't they do it? I'm just glad Henry is alive. I love Henry so much. So underrated, honestly. I'm not gonna say Jem's southern brother name because I honestly have no idea how you pronounce it in English. Zachariah. Zachariah? <laughs> Shut up. I only know Zach, like, I don't even, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't even know how to pronounce it in German. I'm, I'm at a loss. His name is not James Costas. It is Zach. Let's just call him Zach. I don't support the Silent Brothers anymore. I don't know what it means to be a Silent Brother. Why does he have to be, like, emotionless? Nephilim blood is dominant. A new kind of shadow hunter. New is not always a bad thing, Charlotte. Then put a fucking rune on her, sis. Am I the only smart one here? Probably not. <laughs> That's probably the reason they're not doing it. Oh, I should have just read the next sentence. I'm so stupid. Uh, they tried putting healing runes on her, but they just vanished conveniently. What the fuck? I'm under attack. You must forget him. The rituals that make a silent brother are our deepest secrets. Well, that's very convenient because then you don't have to explain it. I wouldn't want to be a fucking solemn brother. That seems boring as shit. What the fuck? Is this an emotional moment? Why are you attacking me? Have some respect. My, my sweet baby Jim. Oh no. I'm so sad. Every year, Tessa, on one day, I will meet you on that bridge. I will come from the Southern City and I will meet you and we will be together if only for an hour. Oh, babe. Tessa doesn't deserve all this. She's a fucking bitch. So, here's my thoughts before I'm gonna read the epilogue. I hate Tessa, okay? Like, I don't like her at all. I, like, I've made it very clear that I think she's annoying as fuck. However, Will and Jem deserve the world. It breaks my heart that Jem is still alive, but he's a fucking silent brother now. I just wasn't aware that I was so invested in them and that I could feel these type of emotions still when reading a book, honestly, because it's been so long. So now it's time for the epilogue. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know how many pages it is, like 20 pages. And then I will be done. So happy for Sophie. That she has become a shadow hunter now. I don't really know why in the transition she uh, got the name Sophia. I don't know why all of a sudden it said Sophia. Not once have I read any of these fucking paragraphs in the beginning of the chapter, by the way. Never, never have I read them in this book. I just skipped over them entirely. She's at the bridge in 2008, so Will has been dead for a hundred years, probably. I love Jim so much. Of course, it's 2008. Like, of course, Will is dead. Of course, the oldest child is named James. Who, like, what else would his name be? James Herondale. I know him from somewhere else. I can't put my finger on it though. Also, I'm crying. He played the violin for him. Fuck. This hits different. Oh my god. 
He had covered his scarred face with his hands and turned away when he'd found out the child's name was James. I don't think some brothers can cry, but that's really sweet. This bitch, like, you have to imagine, she's immortal and she can have children. She could just keep thrust, like, imagine how many children she could have. What? What? Gem is normal weight. I skipped down to the page because I got nervous. <laughs> 130 years? She's old as fuck. He's wearing jeans? What type of jeans? Distress? How did he heal? Why is he like, oh, it's too long. Like, the story is too long. Like, I'm not gonna explain it. Like, you really think I'm gonna just settle with that? Do I look like someone who settles for that? Why isn't, like, if I saw... If I were Tessa and I saw Jem, after all these years of him being a son brother, I would just hug him. <laughs> I have loved you all this time. Why did he just fuck off? I fucking hate Jem. I'm kidding, I love that bitch. If I don't get this shit. If I had my violin, I would be able to play you what I wanted to say. No one will fucking understand that. What is she going to ask him? I'm nervous. I think I'm going to on it. I have to like cover the bottom because my eyes will totally just skip to that. I am such a bitch. He said lessons. Fuck. So I am done. It, I finished a book last night. The last clip you saw of me was me finishing it. I cried some more, but then I made the decision to just go to bed and sleep it off. So here is my final assessment of this trilogy and what it made me feel. I didn't like the first book at all. I thought it was not a good book. I wasn't into the characters that much. I have a video on my channel just ranting about it if you want to check it out. The second book was better. I do not think that I'm going to make a video about it because I'm already, I've already read the last book. So I don't know, it would, would feel kind of weird looking at my notes and being like, oh, I thought this and this, but no, I know that. It's gonna be like that and that, if that makes sense. Now with this last book, I hated the plot and I hate Tessa. I think she is super annoying. She was really just helpless all the time. Do adore Jem though, which I think I made really fucking clear. I also think that Will was a really nice character toward the end, even though I really, really didn't like him in the first book. I picked up this series. I knew that Will was going to die. Only knowing that and not knowing about the rest of the plot, I honestly was just expecting him to die young during a battle and I didn't think he was going to grow old. I have to say that I thought that was a really pleasant surprise to know that he didn't die because he was like, I don't know, slaughtered by a demon in a battle. But that he actually got to grow old and just die of old age, I thought that was just... That was really heartwarming for me. I think that made me even sadder that he had a full life and he he got to live this amazing life with Tessa, what he wished so dearly. He had children and he got to see Jem every now and then. He wasn't out of his life. I was really sad for Tessa in the end because I cannot imagine what it must be like to live forever and have, I mean, the epilogue takes place in 2008. Will died in 1937, so she's been going 70 years without him. I just can't imagine what that must be like. It, ma it makes me really fucking sad. Jem being cured, I love my baby. <laughs> I don't know what this entails because he said he's mortal, so I don't know if he's like, not a shadow hunter at all anymore and also i don't know what that means for his lifespan I would truly wish for tessa to have gem forever because i just i would i feel so sad for her for losing will and then also getting gem back but having to lose him again because she's immortal she's gotta live for so much fucking longer and she doesn't get to keep anyone i tried figuring out what other books gem and tessa were in 
because I was curious. I missed them. I couldn't really figure it out because I didn't want to spoil myself too hard about the plots of the other books. I just wanted to know what books they're in specifically. I didn't want to know what happens to them. I think I would rate the last book a four star out of five. The plot was super weak in all of the books. I thought that Mortimer as the villain, he was just whack as fuck. What really made this book or this series great is the trio that we followed. I hope everyone enjoyed me crying my eyes out over this book, uh, which I didn't think was going to happen. I was expecting it to be emotional, but I didn't think I was going to get this emotional. Probably going to read Lady Midnight next because I recently got that. I'll be curious to see if Tessa is in that and if Gem is also in there because I think she's a cast ass, Emma, the main character. Other than that, I hope to see you next time. Bye!